Everyone today will talk about Johnson and Johnson or J and J, um, and that's down 13% recently. And that's because of a news article that came out about asbestos um, being in one of their products. Um, before I go to that, being down 13% overall, um, it from its all-time high. Uh, you know, when we look at that compared to the market and how much a lot of stocks are down right now, that's actually pretty good. It held up pretty well, um, and when stocks are holding up really well with what's gone on um, with the stock market in general until it being down 13% was really good and it probably wouldn't have been even down that much if it wasn't for this article going out about asbestos being in the product and um, so it's holding up pretty well and when the pr stock holds up when the economy and a lot of stocks are going down like this it's actually a really good sign of a really good company that's really well liked. Johnson Johnson for me um, is a really well run company a great balance sheet and I'll get on to my opinions about the stock and if you should be investing into this price right now. Um, but the article which brought it down was pretty much saying that asbestos was only one of in Johnson Johnson's one of their products. Um, this isn't actually the first time it's come out, it's happened before um, and they've denied it and to be honest with you I don't think it, it is, you know, for something like this to be in one of their main products for so long um, and not get out would be really... Um, really weird for it not to be leaked out by at least one of the staff members something like this is normally leaked out and um, for it to stay quiet for so long um, personally I, I, I don't think it's happened um, and I don't think it's in the products and it has been tested like I say um, so the lawyers have taken this before and you know I think that it was a little bit of a discount there right there the stocks at 128 now um, the Ford P is around about 15 um, the dividend is uh, 90 cents um, the EPS growth is uh, from um, this year to next year is 5.6% and the sales is 1.7%. I think towards 2019 to 20 um, they'll probably beat that because that's a pretty slow EPS growth for them normally and a bit of a slow uh, revenue kind of growth for them. Um, they've also acquired a company quite recently as well. Um, I think that will be better going into 19 to 2020 because we're a long term um, hold on this channel. Um, but overall this company is a really well run company. Um, I've looked at the balance sheet, the free cash flow is unbelievable. Um, the dividend growth is amazing. Um, I think it's 57 consecutive years of raising the dividend and I think that roughly gets raised on an average of 6.7% a year, I think it is. Um, so that's, you know, that's pretty good. Um, you know, constantly great company, well run, great um, e um, dividend growth overall and the EPS and sales size of it is pretty decent as well. Um, so overall, what would I think about this company? Um, if you are a dividend portfolio holder and building up dividend stocks, definitely 100% I'd be investing into this right now. Absolutely amazing discount. Um, obviously, I like growth stocks and kind of fundamentally strong stocks, but as a little bit of a dividend hold and at a discount on what it is right now, I am, and how well this would hold up in a bad market, um, I am very tempted to pick up a couple of shares, so don't be surprised if this comes up. I definitely would recommend this stock as a buy. Um, you might not get a massive return on it as you would do with other stocks, uh, stocks that are growing at a revenue of e um, and an EPS growth of about 10%, but a really solid hold, a good um, to have a good diverse portfolio. Um, it's one that I'm picking up uh, more than likely at some point. Um, so keep an eye out on that. You know, I think it's a stock that should be up towards $150 per share range for sure. And it's always gonna keep growing that dividend, which is amazing as well. Um, so that's kind of my opinion over Johnson & Johnson, guys. Um, like I say, I think it's, I think this is a good buy, especially in 2019. Um, obviously, it's probably one of the lowest EPS and sales that I'd recommend to buy, but because of how well that company's run, the balance sheet, it will carry on going up, and that dividend growth is really good as well, guys. Great P as well, great forward P of 15. So, yeah, I would recommend Johnson Johnson as a buy um, for sure um, and that's the video for today guys um, I will talk about FedEx at some point as well and I'll be doing the free stocks that I'm buying in January um, so keep an eye out for that one guys um, hope you enjoyed the video give it a like subscribe and I'll see you on the next video